turn this on. Hello, friend. Hello. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, yes. is to chat to the star of the Mission Impossible films. That sounds easy. I can do that. Not a problem. This device will self-destruct in five seconds. Four. Three. Ah. Sorry, I'm a bit distracted. I, I really need a bigger harness. That was... Whoa! <laughs> chasing. Uh, <sighs> back where they belong. Now... Uh, <laughs> reunited. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, listen, we're back and we have an amazing show for you tonight. As I'm sure you've guessed, the one, the only, Mr Tom Cruise is here! Aha! <laughs> uh Aha! -huh, uh -huh. His co-star for the Bond girl, the beautiful Olga Kurilenko is here! The star of 300 Scottish Rock of Jared Butler is on the show! Oh, you! You! Plus, we've got music from the fantastic Paramore! Oh. What? What a sex... Is that the sexiest lineup we've ever had? I know! You know, you're all feeling a bit sexy. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna be so close. Yeah. <laughs> Is here to promote his new film, Oblivion, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I know what you're thinking, but no, it is not actually a film about the ride at Alton Towers. No. <laughs> I was surprised. No, it turns out it's a fantastic new science fiction movie which depicts Earth after an invasion by the Scavs, uh, terrifying alien creatures whose aim is to suck the Earth dry. Uh huh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Don't remember that for the film. <laughs> Oblivion, Oblivion was filmed on location in the chilly wastes of Iceland, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> terrifying, isn't it? Just terrifying. <laughs> nice catering, though. Mmm, horse delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Tom's been promoting the film all over the world. Uh, here he is in South Africa. Now, that's either a Vuvuzela or they've started selling Oscar Pretoria souvenirs already. <laughs> Oh, wait, it is too soon. <laughs> Let's get the guests on! Liam, we'll be having music from Paramore! But first, let's ring for the butler. It's Gerard Butler! <laughs> hello, sir. Oh, how are you? How <laughs> nice to see you. Have a seat, sir. Here you go. You're just sitting for time there. And death. Okay. Yeah, good, good, good. She's beauty and brains from Ukraine. And he's here! He is the biggest movie star in the world. It is Mr. Tom Cruise! Yeah, before we get going, we actually do... It's a special day today. And it's true. Very special day. Yeah. And we have a little talk? something for you, Graham. Oh. Do you? Yes. What, what have you got me? Well, guys... Thank you so much. That's just what I've always wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Four overweight people from Mexico. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> that is 
is thrilling. Thank you very much, Tom. Happy Seriously. birthday. So, Olga. Yes. What did you Happy get birthday. me? <laughs> I'll give it to you later. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. This is a life-changing birthday. <laughs> I'll give yours to you later as well, and then you'll change back. Oh, OK. <laughs> I'm liking it. Yeah, 50-50. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's very sweet of you to bring a mariachi band with you. That's very, are they on tour with you? Yeah, yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the guy in the accordion sounded like he just took a one-minute fart. That's it. <laughs> Bagpipes, you cannot talk. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, it is a very international sofa. It's interesting because it goes uh, Scotland down the end, uh, Ukraine in the middle, Ukrainian in the middle, yes. and uh, as of this week, we now realise Irish. Irish. <laughs> Tom, Tom O'Cruz. Yes. Um, <laughs> now we got you being given your Irishness yesterday. Now, what is that that he's giving you? That's a certificate that uh, that I'm Irish. Okay. <laughs> When you get given My something heritage. like that, when and we gave you the certificate, I mean, do you throw it away there or do you bring it? <laughs> <laughs> do you bring it to no, London and leave it in the hotel no, here? No, I'm going to hang it up in the office. <laughs> I was, I was no one, the, I no was... one has a house that big. No, I, was... <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> Now, talking of honour, so you're Irish. Now, is it true, Olga, and, and they've named a street after you in your hometown? Well, you know, I heard about it, but I don't know if they actually did it. Um, I'm not aware you, of it. You should Google that. They might. Uh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you should. You can Google well, it. Actually, that's true. I should, maybe I should have. I just thought you'd know. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you supposed to know? Yeah, it's quite funny. And, and because, uh, because this tour for Oblivion, you've been all over the place. So have you been back to the Ukraine or Russia? Uh, we just went to Moscow. Yeah. Um, okay. Two days ago. Oh, when, when was it? A year ago? I don't even know. <laughs> what month is it now? What? And when you were there, did you order some traditional cabbage dishes for Tom? Because um, I know you are a fan of the cabbage. I love cabbage. Yes. Yes. I should have brought... Did, did your mother encourage you to eat cabbage? She did. Hmm? She did. Did you eat cabbage um, growing up? I'm from Ireland, Tom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thing in the world, yeah. I tell you. You, you, you eat cabbage. cabbage. Yeah. Every yeah. Meal. yeah. Yeah. Cabbage yeah, is but, hungry. But Ukrainian yeah. cabbage is better. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. But didn't your oh. mom tell you that cabbage would improve your anatomy? Y yes, she did. Right, My well. mother. Yes, Thank she you. did. She did. But it um, <laughs> obviously didn't yeah, work for me. That's the line you were looking for. She must have eaten a lot. Of no, <laughs> I, think, I think it did work. Yes, yes it worked. <laughs> I've seen pictures. Yes, it worked. It didn't work to the extent that it was promised. Oh, really? Yes. But did your mother make it up, or is it a Ukrainian thing that it's supposed to improve your, you know, style? It, it's a thing that they say in Ukraine and Russia, yeah, that if, you eat, if girls eat cabbage, um, <laughs> you, you become very talented. <laughs> <laughs> and as I said, yeah. it didn't work for me. Brings all the boys to the yard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's, that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> what is Russian for cabbage, by the way? Kapusta. Kapusta. Yes. Mm -hmm. Isn't that a wonderful word? It is a good word, actually. Mm. Yeah, it's quite like cabbage. <laughs> um, <laughs> talking of honours, is it true, Jared Butler, that you've had a toilet named after you? <laughs> <laughs> no, is it, really? is, it, is it in Michigan? I have a toilet named after me. <laughs> I was filming Machine Gun Preacher in Michigan, and we were in this kind of trailer park, and there was only one building that had a toilet. So I had to go over there at one point, and um, they made a big deal about it, and the next minute they painted my name on there, and, and suddenly I, I heard that I had a, a, a toilet in Michigan. Yeah, congratulations. So, oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't quite being granted yeah, the keys America. to Ireland, but... <laughs> That's an honour, I guess. <laughs> By the way, it's the biggest honour I've ever received in my life. <laughs> <laughs> we've, got, we've got a picture of the toilet. Oh. There it is. <laughs> That's not a picture. That's me standing <laughs> behind the wall. Looking <laughs> in the window. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> and by the way, when you take the pan down, there's something else. Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> but where was the toilet where you met the 300 fans? Oh, oh, um, yeah, I have a thing about toilets, I think. <laughs> um, <laughs> that didn't come out right but I, I, I was um, I was it was an, an airport and I just come off a plane and I and I went to the the toilet and um, I was at the 
I guess the cubicle of the latrine or whatever you call it, and this guy comes in and he's standing next to me. And, and I'd noticed that he was kind of walking in weirdly. He was a little too close, you know. And then he stands at Lutine next to me, and I'm like, dude, 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 deliberately not looking at him, and he suddenly just shouts out, This is Sparta! <laughs> There's lots of other people around, right? And you're all looking. So I don't really go to so many public toilets anymore. No, you really shouldn't. <laughs> it's insane. Hey, listen, very exciting. We've got two really good movies to talk about tonight. Uh, but let's start off with uh, Oblivion. It's uh, your new big sci-fi epic. Um, it, it almost sounds like an Irish film. Oblivion. 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 <laughs> Are you one of the current new Oblivions? Or is your... <laughs> <laughs> It opens here uh, till it was on the 10th of April, and I've been lucky to see it. I loved it. Seriously, Thank I really liked it. Thank it's you. just... Thank you. Well, it looks amazing, for, but yeah. for me, it kind of harked back to things like Logan's Run or Space Oddity and yeah. Hal yeah. And, and those sorts Classic of things. Classic sci-fi. Yeah. Well, the movie takes place 60 years in the future after an alien invasion. I play the last man on Earth, uh, along with Andrew Rice Burroughs, an, an English actress here. And we live in this sky tower that's about a mile above Earth. And I play Jack Harper, who is a blue collar, really just a blue collar drone repairman. But I fly in this cool spaceship every day down to Earth uh, because I've, I'm repairing these drones. And these drones are there to protect these resource gatherers that are sucking up the uh, Earth's resources and sending it on you know, to where humanity is and um, on a moon. And then Olga's character of Julia, you want to? I'll continue. Um... <laughs> you know, just just tag. a hand off. He, he got tired go, of talking. Tag, tag. Okay, just go, go. Go. <laughs> but it happens every time. Yeah. Um, and so Julia is a mysterious woman who falls from the sky. Mm -hmm. uh, on an ancient onto, spacecraft. <laughs> yes, yeah. on uh, poor Jack's head, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he's quite. She's making it up. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll continue. I'll, I'll just rewrite it. I'll continue. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, with the appearance of Julia, uh, this idyllic world that uh, Jack and Victoria are living in this beautiful, beautiful sky tower uh, gets shattered. Um, and uh, she takes Jack um, on a journey of discovery about, um, um, about the Earth. discovery of truth. Don't tell us too much. Yes, Earth. You, 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 Earth and so, and stop, 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 stop. She yeah. makes him question everything. Okay, he... okay. Yeah, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> because the movie has and twists and turns. No, loads of twists and turns. It's really All good. the way up until the final frame of the film. Um, listen, we've got a clip. Now, you're both... Very good in it. You both do Thank lots you. of good acting. Thank very, you. very good. But I should warn you, neither of you speak in this clip. <laughs> uh, just to prepare you. Yeah, the whole movie is silent. By the way. <laughs> uh, so if I think, which is it, the bubble ship? Yeah, yeah. Okay, now I just want to tell you, Olga's not acting in this stuff anyway. <laughs> She's terrified of this spacecraft. <laughs> okay, we'll okay. go. Okay. She so, wasn't uh, acting. I swear to you. So this is this Don't is the, the two of you <laughs> in one of the bubble ships uh, being pursued by some of the drones. Yes. Is that right? Yes. Have I got that yes. right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, yes. Okay. Yes. 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 <laughs> 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 Scary. Yeah, what is scary? It's like being a, 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 the scariest roller coaster slash washing machine. Have you ever been in a washing machine? Do you know I haven't? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what is scary? Try, try no, it. So, home, so, try what, so that thing is really doing all that. We built stuff. this doing huge thing that. because uh, you know the scenes you see that we're pulling G's and and it's spinning around. And the first time we did it, she was so scared. She goes, <laughs> oh, 
She says, I, I want to play the other role. I said, I want to play, play Victoria, because she sits the whole... Well, yeah. she's, she's, she she's spends a lot of time tower. in the in this glass box. Yeah, yeah. And I thought, this is perfect. <laughs> but you can ride a motorbike, can't you? Which must uh, be helpful. Yes, I that's could. That's what I Back heard. Back in time. Yeah, no, that's, that's what you that's said. What Tom, that's what I told Tom. No, I'm but you know how to ride a motorbike. I actually, I actually, okay. I actually know how to she ride a motorbike. She knows how to ride a bike, but, but I, I'm taking her on the motorcycle through Iceland. <laughs> and I'm telling her, you know what it's like on a motorcycle. You're riding the motorcycle, and you hit bumps, and you're doing little, you know, you're doing jumps. You have to keep accelerating, and you, you have to ride with it. Well, she, all I said, I said, Olga, please, no matter what happens, just hold on to me. I'll get us out of trouble if the bike gets a little squirrely. And we have a helicopter chasing us, so I'm, I'm watching where, where the helicopter is. I kind of know what the frame is. So I'm trying to really keep the... Ex she goes, don't go too fast. I'm going, look, I, I won't go too fast. I won't go too fast. Of course, I'm going really fast. But I'm saying, well, that's, that's as fast he, as he we could go. lying to me this whole time. <laughs> I needed and I the shot. That oh, we needed me. the shot. The helicopter's coming. I didn't believe you a second. So we're, we're, we're still arguing about <laughs> <laughs> This is a tense day on you set. You can see no, that. Yeah. I'm saying, so we hit, we, we hit a jump, and I'm... I'm I'm going up in the air and I'm, I, we, I land and the bike's, the steering wheel's like this, which it's supposed to, and I'm accelerating. And her hands come off and now she's pushing me down <laughs> and, and she's driving a motorcycle. I'm, I'm like, trying to, I'm trying to help him, you see? I'm trying to, now, I'm now, trying to save us. I'm terrified. Now I'm terrified. <laughs> we're going at like 70 miles an hour. I'm going, oh, go, oh, go, oh, go, please. Please, just, I said, really, 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 don't, don't, don't do this. So I slow down. She goes, no, no, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I said, look, really, it's dangerous. And I, I'm not realizing I'm doing it. It's no, just, she doesn't realize it. It's just her hands keep coming I'm just out every to bump. Help. And I'm, I'm going, please, Olga, really, just, and so we hit another thing in her hands. So now I'm, I'm f driving the motorcycle <laughs> like this, driving the motorcycle, trying to hold on. Every time I hit a bump, her hand's coming out. So I have to take my hand off the bike, and I'm going like this. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm really, Olga, please, this is dangerous. If you do this, you will kill us. You're not helping me here. I know. That was so um, You are oh. not helping me. But at the end of the movie, you got the motorbike. Yes, I got that. Yeah, that's, that's a great. That's, yeah. that's a cool bike. Very cool. Love what a lovely gift. Yeah, it was beautiful. That is nearly as nice as Would you take me for a ride? Would you take me No, no. <laughs> Never again. You can come by and look at it. How about I drive? Yeah, you, you can drive it. You can drive it. No, 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 no. Thank you, though. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you're you. Welcome. Thank you're you. Welcome. Anytime. That. Just yeah. think about it Thank again. You. Uh, now, listen, thrilled that yourself and Olga are here, but honestly, I'm kind of surprised because you've come from the premiere and you're renowned for just spending hours and hours and hours with the fans on the red carpet. Does it's that fun. happen tonight, Olga? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it always happens. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. Yes, you enjoy it, too. I do enjoy yeah. it. And you were one of the people who started the mobile phone thing. Because mobile phones are kind of transformative. Because not only can people take pictures, but they also want you to talk to people. Yeah. So do you still do that? Yeah, sure. Now, what do you say to them? Like, or do they just talk at you? Or Sometimes it's hard to hear. Yeah. Because there's music and sometimes a lot of people, but they just want to say hello. They'll say hello and, and hope the premiere's going well, and <laughs> sometimes they'll tell me stories. About, and I'm like, uh, you know. Yeah, busy. Busy. <laughs> <laughs> kind of now. And, well, look, would you be up for this if we got sure. a foot? Yeah. Okay, so if you yeah. know someone who'd like to talk to Tom Cruise. <laughs> no, 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 you've got to turn your phone on. It's tempting to say that. <laughs> uh, turn, so turn your phone on. The first person who gets through to someone... Are you really through already? No, you've got to ring the person, get through. So first person through. First person through. Is anyone talking to anyone? What? You are over there? OK. OK. Are you really? No, you're not. You're still dialing. <laughs> you're still dialing. I and have a starting on. Oh, OK, we've got someone. We've got someone. OK, OK, OK. OK, hang on, hang on, hang on. OK, what's, what's, what's your name? My name's Judith. Judith? That's my mum, Gwen. Judith? Yeah, Judith. Oh, Judith, hello, uh, is this Judith's mum, Gwen? <laughs> OK, hang on, Gwen, hang on. <laughs> OK, the next voice you hear, Gwen, is going to be Gwen. Mr Tom Cruise. OK. Hello? <laughs> Gwen? How you doing? <laughs> good, I'm doing good. Yeah, I really am. <laughs> yeah, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> well, where are you now? You have another daughter? What's her name? <laughs> Tina? Tina, hi. She's gonna put Tina in. <laughs> Tina? How are you? 
What are you doing? Did you have dinner already? <laughs> what, what'd you guys have? <laughs> what did you have? Pizza. Oh, pizza. I like pizza. Get to the dirty talk. Just... <laughs> Sausage. What oh, yeah, wearing? here we are. <laughs> Pepperoni. <laughs> Yeah, we are. We're having a good time. <laughs> yeah. Would you like to talk to Gerard Butler? You want to say <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. Here he is. Yeah. Here's... Hi. When Tom said, um, I hope you enjoy it, what were you doing? <laughs> Gerard gets right back to it. Well, yeah. nobody can hear you, so you can just tell me. <laughs> no, the... Oh, God, it's even worse than I imagined. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm going to let you finish up. Bye, Tina and Brian. Bye, Tina and Brian. Bye, Tina and Brian. OK, very good. Uh, I'll, I'll give it back at the, at the end, all right? Yeah? OK. Yeah. She'll probably call back. Uh, <laughs> uh, actually, talking of premieres, talking of premieres, there's a picture of you... As, I think this is the premiere of Olympus Has Fallen. Is, is it, what is going on there? <laughs> Are you showing her? Uh, I think maybe I was sh showing her. Um, I really don't know. <laughs> I know that, you know, for advertising purposes, he's got a Olympus has fallen um, tattooed on my thingamajig. And, oh, and yes, of course. I said Olympus has fallen, opens in theaters March 22nd. <laughs> and, and I think maybe I was, I was showing that to her because she does. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, if you want to risk fainting, uh, <laughs> the movie Olympus has fallen opens on Wednesday, the seventeenth of April, and you well, now I know yeah, you've seen yeah, it. My son, it, I is, saw it. We really dug it. It's like a bit of Die Hard, a bit of Air Force One, and but also remarkably current. It's like the news yeah. today. Cool is... character, cool action. Yeah, yeah. thanks, man. Yeah. Uh, because the North Korean thing that that has to be a coincidence that that's all just fallen into place. No, total. <laughs> Did you guys organize it? PR stunt. Did you guys organize it? PR stunt. I'm surprised they went along with it. But, uh... <laughs> no. yeah, that's some no. great press. No, I, no, it is. It is kind of. It is. I mean, you you make a, a, a movie at least if, if you're trying to make it realistic. You know, in the, in the 80s they made movies about the, the Russians because that was where the contentious area. So we made our movie about about the North Korean. Um, Issue, but it, it was a terrorist attack, so it's not the North Korean state. But no, we didn't know that it was going to get like. I mean, it's literally mirroring everything that's that's happened in the movie, except the the attack on the White House. But it, it is. The idea is they attack the White House, and you're the man to to save. I'm the, the man to do the job. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they, they, yeah they, <laughs> do it, 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 honestly. It is one of those movies where people cheer. Yes. People go, Yay! Yeah. yeah. No, and it's, it's Antoine Fuqua who, who directed Training Day. He's an incredible, incredible director. And, and we have two of you, the, the actors from you, Morgan Freeman, yeah, and great. Melissa Leo. And it's really an amazing, you know, I mean, we really wanted to try and, and make this terrorist attack as real and as believable and as scary as possible. And then once you get past that, it's what happens? What's the protocol? You've got me in the White House right, using counterterrorism tactics, you know, trying to work out who's the enemy, how many are there, and how do I communicate with the outside? And you've got, you've got the crisis room and what's going on in there, and you've got the president in the bunker, you know, Aaron Eckhart, with a gun to his head, and, and they're executing hostages. I mean, it's, it's, it's scary, but at the end of the day, it's a tale of heroism, because it's what happens in your darkest hour, how that, that brings a nation together. So it's also, I mean, and you know these people, you know their families and their, their, their kids. The backstory, so yeah. You think, can't, yeah. backstory, cool it's always action. a good cool. trick. Cool, oh, yeah. um, cool character I, and very <laughs> cool action. Yeah. 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 Um, cool. We're going to watch a clip, and you are very good in the movie. You do some marvelous acting. I just don't. But speak I should warn you, you don't speak in this clip. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking in movies is so passe. Yeah, yeah. it's a visual medium. Everyone talks in movies. Yeah. Well, we want action. Yeah, and here is some action. This is you uh, getting to the very heart of the White House. I think it's you in the Oval Office.
kills him with Daniel Day Lewis's head. <laughs> Daniel Day Lewis. <laughs> Not really, it was like... Uh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Now, listen, uh, talking of action heroes and things, uh, Olga, of course, we saw you in the Bond movie, uh, yes. Quantum of Solace, where you were kind of unique in that you didn't die and you I didn't even have to sleep with Daniel Craig. No. <laughs> but she's alive. She's but the somewhere weird, in... The weird thing, reading about the, the thing, I thought they'd cast someone in a movie like that and then they'd train you up. But they kind of made sure you could do all the stuff first. Before, right? It's yeah. easier. Why teach someone and yeah. spend all that money? No, yeah, they actually, I, when I came, um, I did the audition, and then they took me into a different room uh, with all these guys, stunt guys. And they said, okay, now we're going to give you a physical test. And uh, they made me jump and run and basically do a version of a boot camp. Yeah. And uh, I felt like I was in an army. And uh, they, they had a chronometer. And... Um, after that, they told me I did well, and uh, I was... I had the capability of being, yeah. you know... But are they checking to see if you're still and... beautiful when you're running? That kind of thing. You know what I mean? Cause... <laughs> of course, absolutely. <laughs> well, you must Ask have... them. I don't know, but it was, it, was, it was quite a funny physical test. I've never done that before. But when you're... Cause um, when you, like, for instance, when you're running in a movie, doing an action, do you... Is there part of your brain thinking about mustn't pull a funny face, you know? No, I'm, I'm, I'm mostly thinking, God... I, I, Oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm, you know, because when you're sprinting a film, it's not just one take. I've got to do it 50 times. Wow. Sometimes, you know, you know what it's like. You've got to keep doing it over and over and but over But you've got again. that really That's... distinctive Tom Cruise run. <laughs> <It's> a, it... <laughs> Did you develop that for films? Is that your movie run? No. I, no. <laughs> It's like your phone voice. <laughs> no, yeah. Develop that. <laughs> no, it's just kind of the way I run. <laughs> it's good. It's, it's, I tried it's to outrun him, but I couldn't. But actually, I, I don't even know uh, how I passed the test, because as, as a kid, I was totally... Uh, I couldn't do any sports. Uh, I did dance, but I, I wasn't very sportive. And, you know, in school, you always you, have if that. If you're a dancer, you're an athlete. They're, they're, no, I couldn't run. I couldn't run. Dancers. And I remember the teacher of the, you know, uh, what do you call it in, in England? The Boot physical, the, no, the physical gym teacher, lesson. Okay. The gym yeah. teacher. Oh yes, yeah. He he said, you know, now we're doing push-ups, and I I stuck my arms out and I said, look at these. Do you really <laughs> think I can push myself up? I said, I, <laughs> and he complained to my mother that I did that. He said she she showed me her arms and I said, look at this. Do you really think this is possible? And on bond, <laughs> I would I would do sixty times three three times in a row, and I don't know how I did that. It's, wow. I never thought of myself as a physical person. I have no idea how I, I've grown into that person, because I'm not... It's different when they're paying you, I always think. To get the Is it true you were in a Bond movie? Uh, yes. Yes, I was, when I, when I just started out. Who um, were you? <laughs> I, I can't quite remember if I even had a name. Um, it was right at the beginning of the movie, and we're on a submarine. And um, oh, I, th I, I think which I one? Was, which, I, which one? I, um, Tomorrow Never Dies. Oh, yeah, yeah. Roger Spotters would direct it. Uh, and and what happened was, I was the ship's quartermaster, and um, we are being attacked by the, the bad guy who they dropped torpedoes in the water. So my lines were, um, "Torpedo bearing range 2,000." And then I had to say, I think the MiGs must have dropped it, and then I had to say, we're down by the stern, sir, and then I had to say, we're now 14 degrees down by the stern, sir. Now, there's this technical advisor who says, he wouldn't say that. He's not the guy that would say that. And I'm like, are you kidding? My whole life I wanted to say that. <laughs> <laughs> no, very range, 2,000, gone. And then he says, he also wouldn't say the MiGs have dropped it. It's not his line. And I'm going, will you shut up? <laughs> so in the end, all I had to say was, we're down by the stern, sir. <laughs> and we're now 14 degrees down by the stern, sir. And I was so nervous that I would just wait for the... I knew the guy who was speaking before me. This is... I really thought, I'm never going to make it as an actor. This is how I'm working. <laughs> and, and they were on everybody else. And finally, when they come round to me and I say, we're down by the stern, sir. We're now 14 degrees down by the stern, sir. Roger Spottiswood says, what's he saying? <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and the guy who got the line, the first two lines, was really quite effeminate. So all you heard, this is how it came out. He's like, uh, torpedo bearing range 2000. <laughs> and then he says, oh, I think the MiGs must have dropped it. <laughs> I'm going, are you kidding me? You gave it to that guy? <laughs> um, so that was my experience of Bond. <laughs> oh. Now, uh, on the way to being uh, an actor, you did a range of things. 
And uh, you were a model first, weren't you? I was. Yeah, a model. And weirdly, you got really like, just found really in the discovered. street. Yes. Yeah. Um, I don't know why it happened. And well, quite pretty. Oh, that, oh hello. <laughs> and, and the cabbage wow. has helped. The cabbage, the cabbage. <laughs> <laughs> The, what happened now? The cabbage has really kicked in. I mean, uh, yeah. <laughs> but at some point, yeah, it did work. It's, I don't know. I really, you did an early job, which it was a mystery to many people in Britain, but you worked, you packed ice. Yeah. Um, how old were you when you were doing that? I was about eight years old. <gasps> no! Yeah. But that's, like, terrible. Wait. <laughs> Why? Why? But didn't they, like, lock you in a freezer? Well, <laughs> no, what happened was... <laughs> what happened was, you know, you got a dime of, uh, a bag, yeah. So, and it was this huge... A dime a bag? A dime a bag. So I thought, this is going to be a great job. It was the middle of summer and it was very hot. I thought, you... Yeah. Most people, maybe adults, would do it. It was this big machine. And I thought, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get in this thing and I'm going to do, like... I'm going to do hundreds of bags. I'm going to, you know... Yeah. And so I, I... I love you. You haven't changed a bit. No, I, mean, no. like, I will do the best. <laughs> I'm going to do I'm going to be the best make, ice packer I'm gonna ever. Make, I'm going to make... <laughs> I'm going to make five dollars, <laughs> man. This is going to be amazing. <laughs> but I remember... The records back there. <laughs> <laughs> so I climbed into this ice machine, and I had all the plastic bags. I thought I figured out a system how to do it really fast. <laughs> and I started loading these, the ice into the bags, and I started stacking the bags up, and I, I forgot... Uh, what was happening, the, the door closed on me, and the guy forgot he was going off taking care of something oh, else. So I'm, but I'm just God. loading the bags and loading the bags, no. and at a certain point, I'm so cold, you know, as I'm, I'm laying there in the thing, I'm icing the bags, <laughs> icing the bags, and I was like, Jesus, it's cold in here, you know? <laughs> I'm icing the bags. So after a while, he remembered that I was in there. <laughs> after three days. Yeah, after three <laughs> days. I think he was trying to get a bag, so he opened the, the door. And I'm, I'm, I'm kind of frozen, kind of like this, you know. And uh, he just picked me up and put me on the sidewalk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's terrifying. I didn't think it was... I, I thought... That was close. I, I, thought it was cruel. I thought it was cruel, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you're eight years old, you're getting 10 cents a bag, you know what I mean? And I was like, just listen, next time I'm, you know, if I'm up out in 15 minutes, come and get me, you know? Because, <laughs> yeah. uh, weird, you had a law degree already, and then you became a carny. Well, it's a natural move. Uh, <laughs> so you, you was it a traveling fair you were with? It was a traveling fair, yeah. And what, what was were you your doing job? in a traveling fair? What? Uh, that's a very good question. <laughs> no, what happened was I did you pass a, the bar? Uh, no, I was fired a week before qualifying. <laughs> uh, but my buddies were all working in a traveling carnival, and they came down and they picked me up and said, "Let's go to Bakersfield." So I ended up working on this game, like a concession stand, called the Wacky Wire, which kind of goes down like this, and you got to take a hoop down and round, and and you're like, you know, two dollars for the Wacky Wire, and you win the biggest bear in the fair. Um, and, that, and, and I couldn't even do it myself, by the way. And people would come up and say, well, show me how you do it. And I'd be like, Dah! And I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> so I wasn't making any money. But finally, by day two or day three, I was, I was doing it. And, and at first, I couldn't even take money off people. This little kid would give me $2. I'm like, I can't take your money. <laughs> by the end, I'm like, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll give you uh, three extra games. Uh, we're not at $40. If, if you win, I'll give you money back. And we'll, you know, I'm bringing in thousands of dollars. And I'm just like, yep, and yep, did yep, you get yep, really yep. good at it? I, I, I did, but it was a bit of a cheat because you could stand at the back. See, it's, oh. it's all, you know, if you did it from the back, it was much easier. Doing it from the front was pretty much impossible. Because, uh, because oh. I do have a wacky wire. Right. <laughs> oh, come on. Now, this is the wacky wire. Which now, is completely nothing like the oh, ones not? went down like this. Well, so, what? so you, you've seen these, haven't you? Yeah. Oh, God. So, is this electric key? Oh, <laughs> my God! <laughs> no, this is no, no, it. OK, so, do you want to have a code? Yeah, yeah, I know, you, you love a competition. Yeah, let's have a so, uh, <laughs> and, uh, Tom Cruise will win. Right. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, if you want to have a go, sure, sure, OK, so let's have some tense music. OK, OK. Get a cabbage if you will. Yeah. Okay. Can I stand on my knees? Yeah, of course you can. Yes. Of course you can. Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> I 
I did not say that. <laughs> okay, okay. Some some tense music for Olga. Off we go. <laughs> We're running out of time. Uh, <laughs> okay, Jared, here you go. Well, I don't need to do it. I've done it before. Uh, <laughs> okay, this is so okay. We want some moody music for Jared. Here we go, here we go. Quick, quick. Oh, I've quick. just come down from the end of the sky. <laughs> and the the sky and the last is show. When I go by, down a bed, you throw it out. Let the wind go high, let the wind go low. Oh, the stage is very seriously. All the last is say, hello, down a bed, you throw it out. Alas, it took me to a ball and it was slippery. Oh, 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 Now, this band are three times Grammy nominated. They are making their first UK TV appearance tonight, singing their new single, Still Into You. Please welcome Paramore! <laughs>
Everyone sit down, have room for a little one. Very good. So uh, it's Hayley, Taylor, and Jeremy. Yes. 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 Very good. Now, uh, and that's from the album Paramore, and that's out on the 8th of April. The single's yeah. out now. Am I right? Yes. I am correct. Right. Monday. Uh, lots of people have been tweeting me uh, saying, uh, please ask Paramore, are they going to do like a UK tour, UK gigs? Always. <laughs> yeah, always. Oh. We have to. This so, is this is honestly London's kind of like our second home at this point, so oh. we'll we'll definitely be back. We can't like you know give everything away, but we'll be back. So you've no <laughs> idea is what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very short of time, but it's the first of the new series, so let's quickly go to the big red chair and see who's there. Hello. Hi. Hi, Hi. what's your name? Christine. Christine, and where do you live, Christine? Um, North London at the moment. North at the moment, I yeah. see. Yes, you've got eyes on the prize. <laughs> and, 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 uh, and what do you do in North London? Do you think this works? Um, I'm a student. Okay. What do, what do you study? Um, currently, broadcast journalism and PR. <laughs> Bring her back. Oh, Let's no, Tom, her. you did it now. <laughs> oh, there's one person on earth who hates you now, Tom. <laughs> oh, you've lost a fan tonight. <laughs> Christine in North London is not part of the oblivion. <laughs> okay, we'll bring her back. We'll bring her okay, back. Bring quick, her quick. back. Bring Christine, her back. Christine, Christine, Christine. Okay. Oh, there you go. Sorry. <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> we were testing to see if this thing was really hooked in or yeah, not. It is. It was yeah. Just... <laughs> 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 Should we bring it back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah let's hear the story. Let's hear the story. story. Okay, very good. <laughs> we won't do it again. We won't do it again. Sorry, sorry. Sure, yeah. Okay, off you go with the story quickly. Um, dating this really, really good looking older guy, and um, we're seeing him for over a month. And Oof. took us down south um, in Weymouth. <laughs> and um, I believe in waiting a bit when you're dating somebody. So we've never done anything. Yes. Anyhow, um, <laughs> the night before we had to go back up north, um, he was about to make his first move. And he was, like, facing me. And as he was about to make his first move, oh, no. he leaned and he ran off the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> No. We didn't know you were on a bridge! <laughs> <laughs> Terrible! And well done, everybody! If you'd like to join us on the show and have a go on that red chair, you can. Just go down to our website at this very address. Thanks to all my guests tonight. Paramore, ladies and gentlemen! <laughs> Got talent Amanda Holden, an international singing sensation, Michael Bublé. I'll see you then. Good night, everybody. Bye bye. We're playing a game of bluff on BBC One in a moment. Would I lie to you? Is on the way.